Haré lo que sea necesario. Nada te puede preparar. De que sí. Para el final. Esta noche, apuntad vuestras armas al Capitolio. Esto es el fin, ¿eh? Es nuestra oportunidad. Hay que aprovecharla. ¡Cannes! Uh, it's a very different kind of story, I mean, I think compared to the last one, if the last one was sort of political and about propaganda and Katniss was, you know, a bit sidelined and being manipulated by the, the powers, uh, this is the one where she takes control again, she really goes out into the capital, it's a real war movie, it's probably the most epic of the bunch, probably the most emotional of the bunch as well, and it's actually the conclusion, so it's where you get the big satisfying ending of the, of the series. Uh, well, I think that the, 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 you know, the commitment to making the novel for me was very important, uh, each of the novels uh, that I worked on, and telling the story appropriately and ma maintaining the spirit. Uh, but I think that I put more pressure on myself than I feel from the fans or from the industry. I just want the movie to be the best movie it can be. Um, so, you know, it just leaves me feeling a bit vulnerable once you put it out there, because obviously then you want people to like it. But that's the, the pressure that I put on myself. Uh, well, there's, you know, there's parallels, but the, you know, the truth is, and, and it's funny enough, is that, uh, you know, Jennifer hasn't really changed too much for me. You know, I think day to day, on set, working with her, being here on a tour like this, she's, she's not really any different. I mean, uh, I think she definitely has more, more power in the industry, and she's now getting, a, obviously, a stronger voice in the industry, which I think is fantastic. Um, the big thing, the biggest change is just her having to learn how to navigate the change of the world around her. I think real environments always look better. I think there's, there's um, no substitute, you know. Um, sometimes green screen's uh, unavoidable, uh, but ideally you put your actors and your cameras uh, in real environments. It changes everything. It makes the, the, the actors need to feel the air and, and f see the buildings and structures. And, it informs the photography, and, um, and it also sort of raises the level um, of any digital work you may need to do because there's so much real that's there in the frame. Uh, I, I think it's really invaluable. I think for me, the, the idea of the consequence of war and violence and the effects that has and the damage it does in terms of the loss and psychological damage and emotional damage uh, those were the things that were really interesting for me to explore. Of course, each of the movies were sort of exploring different facets of those themes. To me, that's the, the kind of overlying theme for the entire series. Uh, it was unbelievable to work with, uh, with somebody like Phil. You know, everybody, when, when he was the first person that I cast on Catching Fire, uh, and it was so exciting for him to join the team. And he, like all the others, really just loved the material and loved the ideas in the, in the material. Uh, and to get to watch him work was, was unbelievable. And I, I learned so much from him. Yeah, I mean, there was, there was always fun, you know. They're always joking around. Uh, they have a great time, you know. The, the great thing about this group is they're, they're very professional. They're very good at what they do but they can also turn it on and off. Um, and so in between setups, there was always a lot of joking around. I think one of, you know, one of my favorite, I think, pranks uh, on set was one that Jeffrey Wright, who plays Beatty, played on Jennifer, where he got her a present and it looked like it was from Tiffany's and she thought it was a piece of jewelry and she opened it up. And I forget if it was spiders or cockroaches or something that he had put in there to freak her out. And of course, you know, she, you know, really <laughs> didn't like it. Um, and so there was a lot of jokes and practical jokes like that that, that played out on set. Mi querida señorita Everdeen, el juego está llegando a su fin. Si le matas, Katniss, estas muertes no habrán sido en vano. Te quiero. No te pierdas. Bienvenidos a los 76 sextos Juegos del Hambre. El épico final del fenómeno mundial. Los Juegos del Hambre, Sin Sajo, parte 2, 27 de noviembre en cines.